We're going to have a quick look at how scientific notation uh, can be used in calculations. To do a multiplication like this, scientific notation can be very helpful. So we're going to start off by writing both of these numbers in scientific notation. So the first one, it's 7, 5 multiplied by uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 to the 8. And for the second one, it's 3 or 3, 0 multiplied by 6. 10, I mean, not 6, 10 to the power of 6. Now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on each bit. We're going to multiply those together, and then we're going to multiply those together. So if we focus on multiplying 7, 5 by 3, remember to multiply decimals. You simply ignore the decimal comma, so we're cheating a bit, but we'll correct for our cheat. 3 times 5 is 15, and then here 3 zeros is 0, plus 1 is 1, 3 7 to 21. But that's not our actual answer, because we cheated by simply multiplying by 100 to get rid of that comma, so we must uncheat by dividing by 100. And so what we get here is 21, comma 1, 5. And then multiplying 10 to the 8 by 10 to the 6, well, we know how to do that. It's 10 to the power of 8 plus 6, right? And that's going to be 10 to the power of 14. Now, it'll be nice, instead of just having it like this, that we actually have it in proper scientific notation, right? This isn't scientific notation here, because it's 21, 1, 5. And remember, in scientific notation, we only want to have one digit before the comma. So how do we get that into scientific notation? Well, we know that 21, 1, 5 is the same as 2, 1, 1, 5 multiplied by 10. So we can replace this thing here by 2, 1, 1, 5 multiplied by 10. So what we've got is 2, 1, 1, 5 multiplied by 10. And then we've still got our 10 to the 14. And so what we've got is we've got 10 to the 14 um, and another 10. So that's going to be 10 to the 15. So written nicely in scientific notation. It looks like that. OK, if we had to do something like this, there'd be no problem whatsoever if instead of the plus sign here, there was a time sign. Then we do it the same way as we did the previous one. Multiply the numbery bits and then multiply the exponent bits and then put it all back into scientific notation. But unfortunately, we've got a plus here. And we don't actually have any rules for dealing with addition when we are working with exponents, right? If we've got 10 to the negative 4 plus 10 to the negative 3, we don't have any rule. There's no exponent rule that helps us deal with that. And so the only thing that we can actually do in this case is move these numbers back into standard form and then add them as we've always added decimals. So let's do that quickly now. Um, putting this one back into standard form, the first one, we've got to go back 1, 2, 3, 4. So it looks like that, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 1. And then our next one, we've got to go back 3, 1, 2, 3. So we're going to have 0, 0, 0, 6, 6. And now we've got to add those two. And remember, when we're adding, we just need to make sure we line up the comma very nicely. And then we add in the way we always have. And we get our answer. And we could, if we wanted to, write that into scientific notation. And it's going to be times 10 to the negative 3. 